I wanted to ask the monotheistic theists who go without pleasurable sex or who accept strict limitations on their sex life because they believe their God has told them to. I want to ask, how much would you give up of necessities if you believed your God asked you? Body heat? Food for as long as you can survive with it? Drink? How would you like to eat and drink only just enough to actually survive? Always, if you believed that your god wanted to. Sex is an actual necessity. Ask anyone who has a healthy relationship with it, who is honest, who isn't afraid to go against taboo. Not getting sex has psychological impacts. It makes you frustrated. It makes you bitter. It makes you sadder. I can... Not, not from personal experience, but I can verify this from people I have met who had strained relationships with sex. They were the angriest, the most bitter, the most frustrated people I ever met. To have a healthy sex life it makes you energetic, it makes you creative makes you not want war. Perhaps good sex, satisfying sex, makes you less competitive, but since it makes you happy, and since happiness leads you to want to do better things, to make others happy, then even a capitalist would benefit from this because when they go to work next time they will want to make the service or the product that they provide much better and thus the clients would benefit.